Traditional game ratings are trash, and they're finally becoming obsolete. Kinda. I've had a beef with them for a while. Your taste in video games is subjective, and big companies slapping a number rating on games always felt a bit off to me. Just because something's a 10 out of 10 doesn't mean it's for everyone. And similarly, a 6 out of 10 could be a perfect match for you. But there's no way of knowing with those standard scores. And we finally have a solution. Crit rate. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. I just really believe in what they're doing, and I want to see it become all it can be. It's pretty much brand new, too. It launched on March 23rd, the first day of PAX East, and it's been taking off. We only came across their booth the last day we were there. But as soon as I understood what it was, I knew it was something I wanted to get behind. So, what exactly does it do, and how can it find you your next favorite game? When you hop on over to their website, critrate.io, you start by filling out this little questionnaire. And it uses those answers to figure out what type of gamer you are. They have five houses, and as soon as all the questions are filled out, you're put into the one you most align with. If you've done it already, let me know down below what you got. If you're a fellow Ascendiary, you gotta press subscribe. We have a similar taste in games, and I talk about a lot of them here. You can see a more specific breakdown of your results in your profile. And for me, it was actually super accurate. I do tend to play games more for fun, and I enjoy both single player and multiplayer pretty evenly. I also prefer games that aren't infuriatingly difficult, and like clear cut direction, action, fun mechanics, and fast paced gameplay. There's also a pie chart that tells you how aligned you are with each house. The numbers don't add to 100, which bothers me, but I'm super low in Vantagist and Curionaut, and high in Ascendiary and Brevadier. If you think the results convey your gaming preference as well, this tool can be crazy helpful to you. Because from there, you click the Games tab, and can see what a bunch of like-minded people think of your potential next purchase. You'll notice they all have a percentage next to them, but it's not what it looks like where traditional review percentages provide a more general quality score think of the crit rate score as more of a compatibility score where a truly bland and terrible game gets a 6.9 out of 10 on ign because it looks good runs well and has good music but could put me to sleep faster than a tyson ko here a 69 percent nice has way more meaning when have you ever seen an ign score less than a 50 percent right it hardly ever happens but on crit rate there's a ton of them because they don't show you the game's objective quality. They show you how likely you are to enjoy it. You're right, I wouldn't like Fortnite. IGN would tell me otherwise. Still though, this doesn't fully replace typical reviews. And I don't mean to shit on IGN in particular, it's just the go-to. Those kinds of reviews still have more technical and general information. Crit rate scores instead complement those in the best possible way. Instead of some random game reviewer giving you their rating, this is more personalized, like a friend giving you a game recommendation, compared to some mouth breather at Walmart. Um, actually, Overwatch 2 is peak modern game design. It's also just a great platform to voice your opinion about certain games. As soon as you rate something, it prompts you to leave a reason. You don't have to, but it's a nice option. And if you have strong feelings about a game, you can put it out there for the whole house to see. And the platform needs you. Yes, you, Nathan. Figured I'd just scare someone named Nathan, but seriously. This is an amazing tool, but it can only reach maximum effectiveness if it hears what you have to say. The more opinions they can gather, the more accurate these scores can be, and the better it can predict your next critical hit. That's their term for a game you're guaranteed to love. But if you want an even more personalized recommendation, you can turn to the message boards and ask anything you want to know before you buy something. Or you can respond to other people's concerns, and make sure they don't miss out on one of your favorite games, or they don't make the same mistake you did. That whole aspect sounds a lot like Reddit, but again, everyone seeing those boards likes the same types of games you do, so their feedback is much more valuable to you. The only downside is that there's no mobile app right now, but it's a brand new service, and they really want to refine its core before publishing something like that. Also, I do want to mention that as of right now, it only has current gen games but retro games are coming down the line. Given the nature of the platform, they want scores on the games that are up to be as accurate as possible before flooding the site with every game imaginable. And I can't blame them there. They're super open to feedback too. So if you have any questions or recommendations, that contact us tab is your best friend. The two Justins behind this project are great dudes, and I'm excited to see what they have in store for it in the future. But if you still can't find something to play, check out this video about some of the hottest upcoming indie games. You can try some of them out right now for free.